Alrighty, welcome back to lesson six. Uh, this is a free scrape box lesson, and this is going to be what to do if scrape box crashes. Now, the first time I had scrape box, I was actually quite disgruntled because I ran what I thought was at the time a larger um, harvesting session, and when when it got to the end of the harvesting session, scrape box basically froze on me. They basically crashed, and I was a bit disgruntled because I was like, well, God, I'd left that all night and I was excited to a big commenting session and I just lost everything. But the beautiful thing about Scrapebox is that it actually has a big uh, backup thing for when there are freezes or crashes, which, you know, it does happen every now and again. So I've got my free proxies here and I've got um, a big list of URLs imported. And let's just suppose I wanted to do a big harvesting session. I hit start harvesting and I want Scrapebox to, to go to work for me. Now, I'll leave this run for a minute or so, but I'll, it's not going to crash on me, but what I'll do is I'll stop harvesting and pretend I lost everything. Okay, and then we'll see what we can do from there. So, so far, right now, we've got... Um, we've got um, about 3,000 results there. I'll hit stop harvesting and I've got 1500 domains that have been harvested for me. Suppose Scrapebox crashed and I really wanted these 3000 URLs and let's suppose I'd run this for an hour or so and this was 300,000 URLs or, or even better 3 million URLs. Imagine how upset I would be. Um, so let's just suppose I lost it and I wanted to get it back. Well, Scrapebox has actually got a system where that can happen. Now I've got my, uh, my Scrapebox application saved into a particular folder which I call Scrapebox on my desktop or SB and you unzip Scrapebox when you install it into this folder and it just creates all these other folders and data files and whatnot. So I'll go into Harvester Sessions and this is all the recent harvesting sessions I've done with this version of Scrapebox you go down to the bottom one and it shows your last harvested URL list. So if I go to batch 0001, this is all the URLs the Scrapebox had for me. So the last 3000 um, URLs that I just scraped are actually in this list. So if you ever had a big, big, big session that was lost, don't be dismayed. It's in Scrapebox, in the harvester folder. You go down to the last option here and then you open up the batches that it's done for you. So keep track of what you're doing, and if you lose it, don't despair. Scrapebox has got it saved for you. It's ingenious uh, the way they've put this together, and you know it's only going to get better. So that's the short lesson we've got for you today. Tune in next time. It's going to get quite good.